Sunday. It is 8.01 p.m. It is late for me to be starting an episode, but I made the decision to do this Sunday episode because I just had an experience not more than about 30, 35 minutes ago, and I wanted to share that experience with you. Plus, I wanted to share an experience that I had on February the 9th, which I never sat down to actually record, and that was in the void. And I wanted to uh, share an experience with you where I shut my eyes and I was experiencing something. Now, for those of you who have been with me for a while, you'll know that I began my whole uh, beyond body shifting experience with shutting my eyes and seeing things. Now, this was after my accident in 2015. For those of you who are just joining me or may have just subscribed to my channel, in 2015, I had this horrible accident. Now, before 2015, I'd been astral projecting since I was a young child, like nine years old. So I was used to the astral projection thing. But this whole beyond body shifting thing was completely different. And I knew it was different when I started experiencing it. It was like it was like I was laying in bed and then suddenly I would be somewhere and I was walking around and I had a, a body. And at least that's what it felt like. And I couldn't understand it because when I astral projected... I didn't feel like I had a body. I was conscious. I was light. I could move with the power of thought, but I did not feel like I had a body. So, but before all of these things started happening, I was experiencing this thing where I would shut my eyes and it would be, many times it would be early in the morning and I would see stuff. I would see It would be like looking through a window and I would see places that I'd never seen, cities, forests, oceans, whatever, people. I saw all this stuff that I'd never seen and that's really how it started. Now, with this experience that I'm going to share with you, I have experiences like this probably a lot in the morning, but this thing, when I, when I got up on this particular morning and I I don't, I think it was before uh, February 9th that this happened, but I noted it in my mind because it was so, it was such a unique vision that I saw. I got up in the morning. I, you know, again, I was laying there in bed and I was just like, Oh, I'm just going to rest for a little while longer. I shut my eyes and I saw a sea of energy. (laughs) That's the only way I can really describe it to you. I mean, it had no beginning and it had no end. It was just energy. And the energy was moving, I would almost say, like like a galaxy? No, it it was swirling. It was swirling. It was like a whirlpool. I shouldn't say galaxy. I should say whirlpool. It was it was swirling like a whirlpool. And it just, it was amazing. I wish you guys could see it. My description does not do it justice. But I wanted to share it with you. And I wanted to share how amazing, how amazing it all is. Oh my God. I am so blessed to have the access that I have guys and I enjoy being able to just shut my eyes and see a whirlpool of energy that is infinite. That was absolutely amazing. Now on 2-9, I had uh, an experience of with the void and I wanted to take a minute or so and talk about the void. I see this a lot on the subreddit. I am, an, I am not about to sit here and say, oh, well, people have got it wrong about the void. <laughs> this is what the void is, and everybody else doesn't know what they're talking about. Anyone who knows my channel knows I don't talk like that. I will not say those things. I do not have the ego um, to say something like that as if I'm the person who knows what the void is and nobody else knows what it is. 
okay, I'm certain that the void can be experienced in different ways. And what you're about to hear is just the way that I have always experienced the void. You may experience the void differently. But again, on this channel, this is my experience. And those other folks, I'm not discrediting their experiences. I'm just saying, that's not my experience. This is my experience. Now, on that particular, I think it was maybe the evening. Oh, gosh, I have so many experiences. Sometimes in the afternoon, sometimes in the evening, if I'm taking a nap like I just was. But on this February 9th experience, it began with me snapping into that in-between place, the place between being asleep and awake. Again, I have emphasized to you, and I will continue to emphasize to you, how important that middle space is. My thought continues to be, if you can reach that space, if you can get there, then, oh my gosh, guys, almost anything is possible, I think, because I've done so many things from that space. So if there's anything I can say about being able to get out there, reaching that middle space is so very important. I was in that middle space, and I had this sense that I was jumping up and down on a bed, as strange as that sounds. And I could almost see like an almost like see I could see like an outline of a bed. It was like a black and white thing, but I could barely see it. And I was going up and down, up and down on this bed. Now, again, this is probably me um sort of perceiving it that way. You know, my 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 mind turning it into something that makes sense to me. Jumping up and down on the bed. I, I wasn't jumping up on and down on the bed. I had just shut my eyes not too long ago and suddenly I could feel myself jumping up and down, up and down, up and down. And then suddenly I jumped up and then I started to turn slowly. Now, this has always been my experience in the void, guys. Pitch darkness, weightless. And I'm turning as if I'm turning in space, as if I'm an astronaut and there is no weight, there is no gravity holding me. And I'm just turning very, very slowly. And there's always, always, always this sense that, that love, this love and this feeling of connection. The first time I, I experienced the void, I remember telling my mom about it. And my mom, I didn't know what it was. I just told her what happened. And my mom was like, that sounds like the void. So I had no idea what the void was. And mom explained it to me. And I was like, what? And it was explaining to me, she was explaining to me why, because I was feeling this weird feeling the entire day. I felt this feeling. Um, because I always feel this, this sense of connection and love, and I feel it with all things, all existence, and it's overwhelming. I can't keep it, I can't keep it inside of me. It's, it's like that, that, that almost like a, a tickly sensation at the, the center of your stomach, and you can't keep it. It just keeps coming out. It's, it's just amazing, guys, just amazing. And this is this is something you're experiencing as you're turning. And then at one point, I came out of the void and I was pure consciousness. And as pure consciousness, and when I say pure consciousness, I had no arms, no legs or anything. I was, it was just like I was a camera, <laughs> like a, the, the, a camera and I was just looking at stuff. And I saw these three Rottweilers. And one was very friendly and it was kind of looking at me. I was, I, I was in some sort of house. I don't remember the details of the house. That's where I saw the Rottweilers. That's where I had come to um, as pure consciousness. And then once I looked at this Rottweiler, the, the Rottweiler was okay. The, the one was very friendly and whatnot. Then the other one seemed kind of mean <laughs> and was kind of barking at me and wasn't very nice at all. In fact, its its form kind of changed a little bit, which was kind of weird. It just looked mean. Um, 
And then I kind of said goodbye to the dogs and then boom, I was back. I was back in my bed. I opened my eyes and, and that was that. So that was that experience. Again, I will tell you as I, as I tell you um, so many times with these experiences, there's a lot I don't know. I don't know what the, whose house that was. I have no idea. I don't know whose Rottweilers those were. I don't know if the Rottweilers were, were a, a, a way of my mind making sense of something, beings or whatever like that. And it was, it was saying, you know, th- these beings, I don't understand what they look like, but the closest thing I can come to are Rottweiler dogs. I don't know. I have no idea. So the last experience I will share with you is one that I just had. And I want to talk about the fact that um, with this particular experience, I will tell you I had no music on when this was, when I had this experience. I will give another tip. (laughs) Um, And this tip will be that um, I, I, I truly recommend, I know everybody is making all of this stuff so complicated and I don't think you need to have the binaural beats and all. I don't know why people want to put one thing on top of another thing on top of another thing binaural beats, methods and all this other stuff and I'm just like you know what my advice if you're listening to me whoever you are that's listening to me right now, my advice, keep it as simple as you possibly can. Keep it simple, okay? For me, I was just laying down in bed and I had my patio open. I knew, I know it's going to start raining here in Southern California soon, so I can use the natural sound of the rain to relax me. No, no sounds in the backdrop. Um, actually, it hasn't really started raining yet, so there, there was a lot of silence there. And I was just laying there. Just I was thinking I could have an experience that would be cool, but again, my attitude is always, hey, if I don't have an experience, okay, next time. I'll get them next time if I don't have an experience this time. I'm very casual about it, and that's the other thing. Um, desperation has never worked for me, and I don't think it works in general. So at some point, probably about 15 minutes after laying down, I feel this rolling motion. And I knew I was like, okay, I'm leaving. Um, It felt like I was shifting. It didn't feel like I was astral projecting at that moment. And it was just this rolling sensation. And the way that I like to to, to, to kind of um, uh, compare it to or what I like to, to try to compare it to is if you were to lay down on a hill and start to roll down the hill, right? Rolling, rolling, and rolling down a hill. That's what it feels like. Except for the ground is, um, it's not a hill, it's horizontal, and I'm just rolling. And it's a very interesting sensation. I don't feel like I'm getting dizzy or anything. I'm just rolling. And as I was rolling, I was thinking, I've been, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll have these projects in my, my head that I want to try to accomplish. One of the things has been time travel lately. I wanted to go back to a specific year. But during this time, I didn't really think that. I didn't bring it up into my head. Um, that may have been why... I don't think I did. I don't think I was time traveling, but listen to the experience and you can tell me what you think, I guess. So at some point, I stopped rolling, I slowed down, and there was just darkness. And I got up, still darkness. I know there are so many people that say they're afraid to like open their eyes. Um, and there is a there's something that I usually do where I imagine that there are a second pair of eyelids under my outer eyelids and I practice opening and closing those eye eyelids, those imaginary eyelids, and that helps me to open my eyes when I'm out there. So I opened my eyes out there at some point 
and it was still very dark. And I took a couple of steps and I felt this, I think I stumbled. That was what it was. I stumbled and I caught myself and there were beads. And anyone who knows anything about the 60s, there used to be, there instead of doorways, there would be beads in, the, in a sort of archway. And I, I kind of felt like that to me in a way. It was really weird. That's what I caught. Uh, that's what I grabbed onto. And by the way, guys, I could feel how solid the beads were. Some were bigger than other beads that I was holding on to, but I was holding on to this. I stepped into an area, and the area was a stage. It was a stage. It was some sort of theater. Now, um, I think the last episode I did was me in a theater and astral projecting into a theater and there was music and there was a lot of, you know, great spirits and everything like that around. But in this situation, I was, I was solid. I felt like I was just, I had a body. And when I walked up, I saw this stage and it was empty and this this was quiet. So if you can just imagine for a second, a, a theater with a stage and there's nobody there, right? There's like a light and then the rest of the areas are dark. And so I'm looking around, I'm like, what is this place? I thought I saw a sign, and the sign read something like, the first, the word I saw in there was preference, but I couldn't see any other words <laughs> other than preference. I was like, I don't know what this is. I was trying to make out the sign, I couldn't read it. And, but I could hear a conversation somewhere off stage. There were people talking. I knew there were. And guys, this uh, the, I, I've seen this question before. What does it feel like to shift? Does it feel like, you know, you're in a dream or whatever? No, no, no. It feels completely like you're you're in a in a theater and you're hanging out for real 100% because that's where you are in this whatever this reality is, you're there. It's 100% like being Anywhere in this 3D reality, it really, truly is. It is absolutely amazing to me. Again, I'm humbled by the whole thing. It's it's incredible. So I'm listening. I'm trying to, I, I can't hear exactly what these folks are saying. Eventually, I see a lady and she's walking up on stage. And then I see, I notice um, another lady and she's, downstage she's not downstage i'm trying to say she's not on the stage and i look up at the lady and i'm like okay i'm gonna try and find out what this place is i i look up and i say excuse me and when i said excuse me i saw a flash one of the lady that was not on stage there was a flash and she vanished and then suddenly i was back i was back here in my apartment so I don't think I was supposed to say anything. <laughs> I don't know. What a strange experience. Anyways, I've gone on way too long. 18 minutes, 38 seconds. My gosh, this is way too long. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. And until next time, take care. <laughs>